All right, well, as you know, uh, Halloween is this Saturday, and you're probably not going trick-or-treating. You're going to have to spend some time indoors in your house to make it fun. And if you've got pets, that means dressing up your pets in Halloween costumes. Honestly, I'm, I'm supposed to set up this segment, but do you really need to know anything more than animals dressed up in costumes? On, uh, on webcam, we got Callie Millman from the Ontario SPCA. Hi, Callie. Good morning. Hey, Darren. How are you doing? I'm so excited because you are going to show <laughs> us uh, animals dressed in costumes. I mean, there's I not much more to this segment. We're, we want to look at the cute animals with the costumes well, on. Let's, let's get into it then. I'm going to bring in my first, my first little one. Now, he's a squirmy little dude, so just hang tight here. Uh, this is Buttons, and Buttons is dressed as a shark, Darren. Hi, Buttons. Okay, this is, <laughs> this is exciting. He's really, really excited. <laughs> So, um, this adorable costume is a really easy one, Darren, because it actually just, as you can sort of see here, does up around Button's neck and, and around his belly, and then it sort of just has a little hood on it, and then he can sort of prance around the house as a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Buttons is the cutest thing. Now, are you showing us animals that are available for adoption? Absolutely. So Buttons that you just saw, he's super excited, is uh, 10 years old and he's a poodle mix. So he is going to be available for adoption very, very soon, which is super exciting. And, you know, as I mentioned, uh, Darren, this costume is really comfortable. Buttons obviously is super squirmy and excited, but he's not hindered at all by his costume. And that's something people should keep in mind when looking for a costume for their pet is that you want them to be comfortable in it if they're gonna be hanging out around the house or even if you maybe just take them out for a walk in their costume. Poppy shark doo 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 Poppy shark doo 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 <laughs> Poppy shark. You um, got right, it. What, what do you have next beside you? I, I can't wait to see what so, comes next. And you have helpers socially distanced uh, handing you animals. That's accurate. I, I sure do. So here, let me hold up my little mermaid, okay? So this is my little mermaid prince. And he's dressed up. He's got a crown, Darren, okay? So he's he is a prince, but he's also a mermaid. He's a mermaid prince. Is that a thing? <laughs> he's a merman. <laughs> so this is all I'm from me. <laughs> yeah, he's a merman, and he's feeling really good about it, as you can see. Um, this is from the <laughs> Thrills and Chills collection from PetSmart, and you can see really how tiny this costume is. So keep in mind size when looking at costumes too. So you want to try on a few different sizes just to make sure you do have the right fit. And and this little Prince Merman, his fits just perfectly, and he's quite comfortable like this. Look at him. Oh, it's it's uh, very adorable. But again, if the animal's not feeling it, don't force. We used to, when I was growing up, we had cats. We used to force the cat into t-shirts all the time. Don't do that. Make sure the animal's enjoying the process as well. You know what? You're absolutely right. So a great thing to do is keep treats on hand so that when you're trying costume on for the first time, it's all done with positive reinforcement. You want it to be a good experience. So do it in small steps. You know, it's a uh, Monday before Thanksgiving, so you've got a full week right now. So why don't you pop over to PetSmart, get a couple of costumes, try a few of them on, find which one works best, and then in small intervals, have your pet wear them for short periods of time, and that way they can get used to them. What do we got next? Oh my God, a cat. Cats love, cats love being humiliated. This will be great. Yes. Okay, so this is Junior. I'm gonna put him up because you have to see how cute his face is, Darren. <laughs> Oh my he's God. so cute. Hi, Junior. Hi. So he's got a little, he's magically sweet. And he's got a little unicorn costume on here that says he's magically sweet. And it's a little t-shirt costume. So again, when we're talking about comfort with costumes, sometimes costumes that have a headpiece or have a little bit too much going on, especially cats, they're just not going to have it. And they'll take the headpiece off or they'll squirm out of it. So this is almost like a little t-shirt. So we just put Junior in this little t-shirt here. And boom, he's ready to go. And he can sort of lounge around the house in his little t-shirt and hang out. And he's quite content. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, you know, that's the thing. We know cats are smarter than dogs because cats don't tolerate this nonsense. Dogs, my dog is so dumb. You put him in a, he'll wear a hat all day long if he gets a free uh, free treat. But the cats know better. They're smarter than us. <laughs> See, I There's wish my dog, my dog was like that's that. That's Wolfie. Hi, Wolfie, that's so cute. You know I'm sorry, we're just I bet a lot of people... 
I bet you a lot ahead. of people wish that their dog was like your dog that would wear a hat because I have a feeling some people are probably watching this segment going, no way would my dog wear a costume. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Be patient. Try a couple of different things on. And when all else fails, a T-shirt costume is just as good. <laughs> Do we have any more animals? I can't. Oh, we do. Go oh, good. There is just a never ending. It's gonna be three hours of handing you cats with shirts on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is like the snuggliest kitten in the entire world. Meet Ollie. Say hi, Ollie. And Ollie, hi, Ollie. is in another t-shirt, a t-shirt here that's got a jack-o-lantern on the back. How cute is that? Super cute. So again, can we? Keep uh, in mind we gotta wrap up. Well, I was just going to say, we got to wrap up and uh, and I want to make sure we get the plug out because these animals are all available for adoption. But can you hold the dog again? Because the dog was really giving you trouble and that's pretty fun to watch. Is that possible? I I cannot at this time, Darren. I do apologize. He's He's been put into a, a gentle timeout. No. <laughs> um, he, yes, but you're right. All of these... <laughs> All these animals are available for adoption. So visit OntarioSPCA.ca. Have fun picking out your Halloween costume and visit your local PetSmart. You are awesome. Kelly, thank you so much from the Ontario SPCA. That was a, a lot of fun. I'm going to set it back inside. <laughs>